Anyways, I'm out of breath because I've been doing the labor hand work, which is fine with me. I need to exercise and I enjoy doing this kind of work. guys so uh i don't know if he told you or not but he's got a torque up to he said it was 2500 minimum psi or 2000 in a consistent within three foot the ones you see stick up like this right here is an extension because these need to continue on down on the ground uh, just about every one of these so far has needed an extension and then we're also going to so we're doing from what I understand, helicals are called for the outside perimeter of the house, total. Well, I've asked them to go ahead and put them on my interior front and back wall. The outside walls already have them. It's just a little insurance. Uh, makes me feel better. I mean, it costs, I think, roughly $500 uh, one helical installed and then $100 each extension. Anyways, I'm out of breath because I've been doing the labor hand work. Which is fine with me, I need to exercise and I enjoy doing this kind of work. Contractor went to go get some more uh, extensions and pick up six more helicals. And then we'll, uh, I think we'll be good to go. If I'm not mistaken. All right, I'm getting thirsty. extensions and we've got five more helicals and we'll put one more right back here but you see all these extensions right here this is the first set of extensions on the interior now this is the this is the back porch the wall and then where the uh, roof is on that side same thing over there we got <clears throat> it's just added security uh, you know i'd rather go ahead and do the extra now because once you have a crap foundation, then you have a crap foundation. At least hopefully this one here will slow it down. But anyways, we're not going to put anything on the inside of it. Just on the load bearing stuff. Now, this ain't a bad little side get here. You can get this done in a weekend. Of course, the machine is probably... If I had to guess that machine is probably 65, 70,000, 75,000. That attachment is 20 to 25,000. Uh, need one labor hand. Actually, the guy operating the machine says he can do it by himself. It just speeds up the process to uh, have an extra hand. So anyways, we're almost done with the uh, helicals. Uh, they'll come back, they'll dig the beams out, put the caps on, they float three inches. They'll lay in rebar, tie it all in. Then we got termite spray, tarp, concrete. But we're a month and a half out on framing. Uh, 
is when we're scheduled for framing. So we're moving along. It's a mess, but they're getting after it. Back on, off of that, up, up that one string. One, two, three. Six feet off of that string to the center of that. Well, the rough end for the plumbing is complete. Uh, it's pretty wet. The guys came back to start working on cleaning out the beams and everything, but. Uh, We've got rain coming, and they're just going to wait until after that. So, got all the plumbing for roughed in for the master, the kitchen, and the spare bedroom. And this is where the exterior water line will uh, come in and feed the house. Either I'm going to have the well up front or over here to the side. Septic's going to be over there. But uh, it's a mess right now. I tell you what, everything's real wet, mushy. But uh, I went ahead and cleaned up all the wood, get it back stacked to where you know it's not just laying in the mud. Um, one of the things for me saving money on this thing is me doing the cleanup. You know, they got the tarps kind of out, trying to let them dry off. I don't think it's going to work for that. Doing some burning, and well, we got some weather coming. I've lost quite a few trees again um, from this last storm. There was five tornadoes. There was five tornadoes that had came in our parish at the same time, and we were kind of in between two of them where we are. But we got a lot of strong winds. I never can lose sweet gums or pines. I was gonna lose my white oaks, red oaks, pin oaks. Uh, I've got a big beech tree down in the creek. Anyway, so that's the way it goes. So I think that's what we're gonna do is wrap this this one up on uh, to where we are and then pick back up on them grading it out, getting the beams, grading it out, finish closing it in. It should be close to uh, pouring concrete. Anyways, guys, y'all stick with us. Hit that subscribe button, like, share it, and uh, watch us build this very expensive house when you shouldn't build in 2022. But I'm tired of living in a camper. Makes a year today. Anyways, talk to y'all soon.